Hey everybody, welcome back to Grandma Jane's World, where today I'm going to do something for a friend. I gave her this card. It just has Have Faith in the Lord and some little orange, orangish flowers around it. She wants me to do the same thing, but on a sheet of water paper color or paper that will fit into an 8x10. So this shouldn't take much time, and I thought I'd show you how quick and easy it is to make a little gift for a friend. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put the saying down in the middle of the sheet of paper so that I can color and paint around it and not uh, touch it. Because if I touch it, it could bleed and then that wouldn't be good. I do have a set of watercolors out as well that I've got at a local craft store. It's got brushes, it's got a little tray for have your colors mixing water with the color and everything so I will um, do this lettering in the, right away first of all and I think I'm going to make it a little different because this is a longer sheet of paper I'll do have faith in the Lord. Just do it like that. Do it in your own handwriting. You want to print it, that's fine. I think that's pretty well centered. I'm content with it, so I'll go on. Only thing I forgot is some paper towels. So I'll grab that quick. Now I really like the orangey yellow color that I used in that um little paintings so whether i can get about the same color again we'll see here we'll have to test our watercolors out and see what they look like here so each one of these has a little foil on the end that we have to open these are fresh new watercolors. I needed them. I pitched my other ones out. They were, I don't know how many years old. And <laughs> Sometimes you just have to do that and start over. And have some quality supplies. Oh, that's pretty reddish orange. So what I'm going to do is try some of the yellow with it. Make sure I get those on tight so they stay fresh. I'm going to try some yellow with it. Oops. I'd like you to be able to see everything here. Okay. And try this one. See if that's a little lighter or maybe I can even mix them. It's sort of a little science to this but after you've done it a few times you kind of develop the ability to do it wow that's a really different color it's like a mustard when it came out let's see i'm gonna mix these real quick and see it's not matching up the way i thought but if i don't need a whole lot of flowers either so, I think if I mix these together, it's going to get closer to that color. So, I'm going to put a little more of this yellow, which kind of looks mustardy when it comes out. <laughs> you never, you know, you just never know until you start playing around with this stuff. But, there it is. It's looking really good. It's looking good. So I'm going to try putting a few flowers on them here like I did on this one of hers. And I'll just kind of splash the color. I can add a little water, not too much to have it runny. Add a little water and splash it around on there. And I'll do a little bigger one here, like on there. Okay. 
to make them a little different too. They don't have to be the same, but similar. It's like little, almost like a little sunflower of some type. There's so many different types of sunflowers. And they're just bright and cheerful like Margaret is, and that's who I'm making it for, my friend Margaret. Very faithful, wonderful friend. Caring beyond belief. More people should be like that gal, I'll tell you. She's a great one. Okay, now I can leave this and let it dry, or I can put a few more on. And... I think I maybe will take and put one underneath here yet. And I just sort of flip it around like I'm making petal, but I don't really. And then all I have to do once it dries, have some water to rinse out your brush always so they can stay clean. You might want to wash them even better under the faucet when you're done. But um, I want to let this dry for a bit and then I'll put the little dots, the centers in, and little stems, and I'll do that with my Sharpie. You can do it with your watercolor as well, but I think I'll just do it be easy. Be easy and do it with my Sharpie. And there it is. Now the next thing, I'll show you the final result of that as well. And the next thing I'm going to start on this afternoon with you is if anybody wants to paint this. It's a watercolor. You can do it in acrylic if you want. You can do it in oils if you want. And I'm going to do it on about a 12 by 18 sheet of watercolor paper. And um, it really turns out beautiful. It's pink geraniums and with a black background and a wicker basket. You see part of the wicker basket. It's not very hard. And if you want to make a gift or something for yourself, it's a good one to start with. Okay. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great day.